You've done all the hard work, you've launched a website, you've built a robust SEO and PPC strategy, and now you're starting to get traffic, but you're not getting any sales or leads. You're not alone, I've been there as well. But today we're gonna review six reasons why you may be getting traffic but no conversions, and I'm even gonna share with you some of my troubleshooting tips for what you can do once you pinpoint the problem. And the best part is you can do them yourself and you don't have to hire an expensive agency or consultant to do it for you. If we haven't met before, my name is Scott Redgate. I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years and I'm an online marketing coach and I'm here to help give you the training and confidence that you need to manage your own digital marketing campaigns. But before we dive in, make sure to grab my free seven day online marketing jumpstart doc. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart. It's simple tips that can put your website on the right path to be found by your potential customer base and exceed your goals for your business this year. All right, let's dive in. Number one, it is possible for a website to receive traffic but not receive any sales if conversion tracking hasn't been set up properly. Conversion tracking typically involves using a code or pixels from an analytics or advertising platform to track when someone takes a desired action on your website, like making a purchase. This data helps us understand how successful our online marketing efforts have been at driving sales and whether we need to make changes to improve things like the conversion rate. If this tracking hasn't been set up correctly, the website might be receiving plenty of traffic, but it won't be able to accurately measure the number of conversions being made. In other words, your ads might be doing really well for you and you would have no idea. Without conversion tracking in place, website owners can't look at conversion data and find areas to optimize their site in order to get more sales. So if bad conversion tracking is your problem, tools like the Google Tag Assistant provide an easy way to check if conversion tracking is set up properly and running correctly. By using tools like the Google Tag Assistant or even the debug view in Google Analytics 4, you'll gain confidence that the lack of sales aren't due to something silly like bad conversion tracking. All right, let's move on to number two. Another reason why your website might be receiving traffic but not getting any sales is because it is targeting keywords and searches that are too top of funnel. While these searches may generate traffic, they will not necessarily lead to conversions or purchases. Top of funnel searches typically focus on providing information about a product, service, or industry, rather than leading directly to sales. For example, let's say that you're a dentist and you're targeting the keyword phrase, can candy cause toothaches? People who are searching this are still in the information gathering phase and more than likely, they're not ready to book an appointment. And depending on the severity, they may be looking for over-the-counter solutions and not looking to book a dental appointment at all. So while this keyword may generate a lot of traffic and awareness for your website, it will not necessarily result in someone booking an appointment due to the lack of commitment by the searcher. In contrast, bottom of funnel keywords focus on a much more specific topics with an intent to purchase or convert. For example, let's say that someone is searching for emergency 24 seven dental care. This implies that they need immediate action in order to resolve their issue. These type of keyword queries typically have a higher rate of conversion since they are indicative of an immediate need that requires a resolution. The downside of a bottom of funnel strategy is that these keywords are typically very competitive in SEO and they're very expensive in PPC. So what you need is to have a balanced full funnel approach. Number three, this one might sound like common sense, but you would be surprised at how many times this is an issue. Your website or checkout pages might have elements in it that are broken. For example, maybe your buttons are not functioning, maybe your links are broken, maybe your images are not loading properly, or maybe your checkout process is just too lengthy and complicated. If this is the case, users may be discouraged or even unable to make a purchase or submission. A couple of simple ways to check for this include navigating through your website as if you were a customer, try placing a couple of test transactions, and you can even consider having a feedback or contact me option that is prominent on your website so that if a customer is experiencing an issue, they can easily write you to inform you about it. Bonus tip for this, check the bounce rate or engagement rate by browser in your analytics platform. Sometimes updates made to the code of the website can break the website for visitors who are trying to view it from a particular website or browser. All right, on to number four. A website might be receiving traffic but not getting any sales if the company is targeting the wrong audience with its PPC and content strategy. 
For example, let's say that you're a software company that provides services to banks to help them determine if they should loan money to potential borrowers. If your company is targeting keywords like credit card application process in your campaigns and creating content around this topic, you're more than likely going to attract consumers who are looking to do things like check their credit card score rather than potential banks who could actually use the services that you offer. Search for some of the keywords that you're targeting and see what the Google results look like. Are the results aligned with your products or services or is the intent of the results page completely different? Number five. Let me ask you this question. Would you go eat at a restaurant that had no customer reviews online and when you drove past it, there were no cars in the parking lot? Probably not. When a website lacks customer reviews and trust factors, visitors may be hesitant to make a purchase. People may be worried about the quality of the products or service, the legitimacy of the company, as well as whether their credit card information is actually safe. If you don't have these things, it can be very difficult to gain the potential trust from potential customers that is needed for them to convert the traffic into sales. So what should you do? It's pretty simple. Add trust factors, add awards that you've won, add reviews and testimonials that customers have given you, and anything else that can help customers trust you. Last but not least, number six, have you ever heard of the expression, the paradox of choice? The paradox of choice refers to the situation when customers are faced with too many options and they become overwhelmed and unable to make a decision. For me, this happens when I turn on Netflix. This can be a major issue for websites because customers are likely to have difficulty deciding what product or service is right for them due to the sheer number of items available. With too many choices, shoppers feel confused and uncertain, making them unable to decide. Having so many options on display can overwhelm potential customers, causing them to leave the site without making a purchase. As a result, the website receives a lot of traffic, but they don't get any sales. To counter this problem, you should probably limit the number of items that are present on the screen at once and utilize things like filters and sorting tools to help customers narrow down their choices. Bonus tip, make sure to provide detailed product descriptions that clarify the benefits and not just the features in order to give customers an easier time navigating through all the possibilities. So in summary, if you're experiencing a lot of traffic and not getting any conversions or sales, this can be a common issue for websites just starting out. But by being aware of some of the common reasons why this happens and using some of the troubleshooting tips that we mentioned, you'll be in much better shape. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, I would be honored if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel to help give me a little momentum in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you again for watching this video. Take care.